On March 11th, an earthquake and tsunami sparked a disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in Japan. With cooling systems knocked out, three reactors melted down. In those first days, the only thing that military and civilian authorities could do was to spray water to try and prevent further damage to the reactors. Today, the immediate crisis has passed, but Fukushima is still a very dangerous place. Thousands of workers are currently on site to conduct damage assessments and cleanup operations. In some areas, radiation levels are high enough to kill within minutes. Workers must wear masks and protective suits everywhere they go. Here, they're spraying suppressants to keep down radioactive dust. Aerial surveys reveal a plume of fallout to the northwest of the plant. When the crisis began, thousands living in these areas were evacuated to temporary shelters. Now, some may not be able to return home for decades. The Tokyo Electric Power Company has apologized to the people of Japan for the accident. But these mea culpas haven't gone down well with the Japanese public. TEPCO and the government have both come under fire. The Prime Minister Naoto Kan resigned in large part because of the response to the crisis. But there are signs of progress. TEPCO recently installed an elaborate filtration system to remove radiation from the water. And workers are assembling a cover over the Unit 1 reactor. Similar structures will eventually be built around Units 2 and 3, and by winter, TEPCO hopes the damaged reactors will be able to stay cool on their own, without adding more water. In many ways, Fukushima is a local disaster, but the impact stretches across all of Japan. The country depends on nuclear for over a quarter of its electricity and has faced shortages since the quake. Plans to increase its nuclear supply are now in doubt. Fukushima is the worst nuclear crisis in 25 years, and that means it's also received global attention. The International Atomic Energy Agency has visited Japan to survey the damage, and other nations are reconsidering their positions on nuclear power. Germany has decided to get out of nuclear altogether, while the U.S. and China are undergoing lengthy safety reviews. Back at Fukushima, what's going to happen in the long term is still very unclear. Somehow, the fuel from these reactors will have to be removed, and the Japanese government has vowed to clean up at least some of the land around the plant. One thing is for certain, the accident is going to stay with Japan and the world for decades to come. <laughs>